Bandai Namco. Now Pro. Made with Unity. Which everybody's using it nowadays, it's weird. We start off at a peaceful scene. It was a bright and sunny day when the scheme started and we have a birthday party of sorts because we have a sign saying happy birthday at a familiar shaped house right next to the birthday party. Hmm? We're about to catch a Pac-Man, but he's awfully tough. Hey, look at that! There he is! It's Pac-Man! <laughs> That's Pac-Man? Hey, he's here too! In our day! I thought there was only one Pac-Man! Hmm. Let's go! I'm gonna get him! Got it! Playing with an apple! Oh my! At least it's just a whole trap for the dog. <laughs> a little girl in a... in a bag with a pack with his taunt. Wait, is it... And the, they're having a barrel of fun now. And this professor looking guy is... Whoa, he's getting all woozy. Practice harder. And meanwhile, the kid is, is caught a Clyde. That, uh, that's gonna be, be a little difficult, kid. And Miss Unnecessary Gooncover <laughs> gets ambushed by Pinky, I believe. In, in it. Hey, it's Pac-Man! And he's here at an abandoned birthday party. <laughs> no! What? And there goes a hot air balloon and it's dropping off for sure. Party on Ghost Island. Meet Pac-Man live and in person. Wait, but Pac-Man's here! Not on dead Ghost Island. Well, actually, let's go to the ghost island we're talking about. So, and loading screen, and Pac Man being chased by the four ghosts. Still being chased by the four ghosts. Hey guys, I'm KDH here, and welcome to Pac Man World Repack. And, uh, wait, why does it say A button? Oh. Whatever. So we can choose between new game continue because I I have an old file options or quick game. Let's go over the options first. And yes, as you can see, the game's capable of being keyboard friendly. And these aren't the default controls. I will clarify that right now. But they're just customized to what I prefer. Oh, and. A button, and the space key is used as a substitute for the A button for confirming stuff. I oh, want a neat sound effect with the hovering hover mouse feature. But anyway, I'm here because <laughs> I want to go. I want to do this with a self-imposed challenge because. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to make sense of this game's level design, but uh, I'm going to need my usual approach. Obviously no damage is, is a key thing. 100% will also be done, but, uh, and I don't have to worry about any upgrades that uh, will make things easier without me being able to do anything about it. I'd like to get you linked to the, as you, you and your magic having upgrade capability. <laughs> <clears throat> I will also add a couple of dip lens because I know there's a no damage run of this game already on YouTube, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'll be adding on my unique touches. I will. You, you, you'll be able to see in the description, of course, but anyway, new game. Uh, yeah. I'm going to use this blink slot. 
Yes, please, save to an empty slot. And is it the ghost style one that they're talking about? Now it's a dark and stormy night. Where the ghosts decide to party. And there's a power pellet on top of the team. Hmm. Wonder if that would be one. No, no, no! You fool! I said go give it to me for rooms! The DJ and Junker are awful, and I want to drop Mary's on the night. Are you trying to ruin my party? <laughs> Mr. Jackson, thank you! <laughs> what is it? Thank you, dear. I'm your son. See, right here. It's a real nightmare. <laughs> well, of course, it's the big city of Pico. Oh, you captured Pecos! No, they captured uh, his family because they're idiots! Uh, well, you see. Get us out with it! Well, there was a little accident. It was never happened again. <laughs> Every girl! How dare you ruin my best! Turn the way I'll let this interview with my party! I don't think I'm down! Talkman, not happy. <clears throat> yeah, the ghosts are idiots, and Talkman had to put up with it. Uh, anyway, our gameplay starts now, and. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, we can move around. There are signs with exclamation points that I believe were added in here in the remake. Uh, not that I haven't played Pac-Man World, the original version. I've never played it. I'm completely familiar with I'm more familiar with three pack Anyway, welcome to Pac-Man World. Over there is the ghost arena. Watch out for ghosts and eat all the pack builds. The big dots are power pellets. Eat them to power up Pac-Man. Get the ghost. Don't get careless. Power pellet effects wear off after a while. So, we already see a couple of ghosts. Mm -hmm. The orange one is Clyde, and the pink one is Pinky. But, it won't matter what they do right now, because... Already, we got a power pellet off the bat, and we can take care of them, and we got a complete mm, signal to mm, mm, tell us that we've taken care of all the ghosts in it in this area. In this portion. Anyway. Things won't be so easy yet. And, oh, another sign. Press X to jump. Press X while jumping to perform a bump bounce. Oh, and yes, the signs actually update according to your controls. Mm, that's a nice touch, Bandai Namco. Bump bounces aren't just for enemies. You can use them to reach high places, too. And power, Pac-Man has a power grip, too. Yeah, and we just got destroyed a couple of sword skeletons. Sword skeletons will try to fight you, but they're just basic moves, so they take their time about it. So, anyway. We have another sign. Be careful, Pat Man. There are a lot of enemies up ahead. Try taking them out with a butt bounce. If you have any pack dots, you can press C to perform a pack dot attack. C is what I have. Uh, Pack dot attack assigned to, and this brings up one of the. I will be banning a couple of moves from the, this uh, challenge. One of them is, of course, the pack dot attack. The other one, well, it's a remake exclusive feature that's thankfully assigned to its own button. I'm letting you know right now. If you have lots of dots, both see the charge of bomb attack, and yeah, that's part of the pack dot attack. So yeah, we won't be seeing that except in demonstration. But anyway, we can butt bounce on treasure chests, and this one holds a pet health recovery item. We get four hit points in total. If we lose all of them, we lose the life, and I believe that in the upper left corner, the numbers, the, the remit. 
I mean, spare lives. Anyway, try swimming in water. Press X to blow to the surface. I think the time should have been should have been dictated by input rather than going near the point and that's it. But anyway, swimming controls. There's more about the about that what it what anyway. <laughs> about the jump. Anyway, Ghost Island has a lot of train switches. Press them with a butt bam. The green switch only work works one time. Yeah, green switches are basically permanent. We will see other colors switches. And we will see what they're about too. But yeah. This level is basically just a tutorial, so there's not much to it. I'm just explaining things before... Uh, uh, oh, another switch type. The orange switch's effect wears off after a while. Watch out for when the switch's effect wears off. And this switch should lower the drawbridge. And we have another sign introducing about this thing. That's a trampoline. Aim at the center with a butt bounce and it bounces into the air. And we have another thing. Keep up bouncing on the trampoline to go higher and higher. And another sign, and it'll explain about what's going on with the water. Jump at the water surface to do a dolphin jump. Use it to get out of your above the water, which is how we can jump far above the water, but just be mindful in case there are dangers below where you land, because you do have some gravity involved when you're coming down from the dolphin to end up right in the water. Try about bouncing the treasure chest in the water. You need something to do that, though. Don't worry, we won't need an upgrade, per se. So, that won't ruin anything. The pop bounces when we're getting those oranges. Hmm. Back we please get up there. You can get a metal top from that treasure chest. Yeah, the treasure chest is blue. It will usually contain a metal top. Metal tops allow you to walk underwater. While you're metallic, you're invulnerable to damage. It has a caveat to it, but we'll get to that. But anyway, we can use the metal tons to walk normally underwater. But it's had to throw some cons, but yeah. We're right now we're able to get that treasure. But anyway, we reached a checkpoint. Nice work, Pac-Man. You reached a checkpoint. If you make any mistakes, you can start over from your last checkpoint. Also, have you tried a ramp roll using Z? Hold Z and let go to blast forward with the ramp roll. You can even climb deep hills by using a ramp roll. Yeah, like so. The ramp roll is also an attack, and, and yeah, it'll be useful for um, against enemies as a lunge attack against enemies that we can't simply um, buff down for fun. Of course, when handling the ramp roll, there's some precision issues going on, so they'll come into play, but right now, later, but right now, you can even take down enemies by hitting them with a rev roll. Have you tried it? Uh, oh, and yeah, you can cancel the rev roll by pressing the jump button. Uh, anyway, yeah, we can lunge attack it with the rev roll, but this switch explains about that device with the down arrow. That's a helivator. Mm -hmm. Get on and press E to open the gate in front, yeah, by uh, charging up the rev roll. <coughs> the game wants to make sure that we understand how to operate elevators before we can progress. As well as mm -hmm, managing the rev roll. I don't know if that gate damage is, but if it comes down, but yeah. Checkpoint. 
There's nothing down there, of course. This is just the tutorial level. And oh, look out! You can fall from here. Hold control while jumping to hang in there. air. Try it if you're about to fall. I'm just going to demonstrate this real quick. Yeah. Pac-Man can water jump in this game. In the remake. I'm going to... I'm going to prohibit it. It wasn't in the original. The level design would not be built with it in mind. So it's practically an easy mode option of sorts. And fourthly, it's assigned to its own button. I have to check if it can be assigned to the jump button for convenience, but... And yeah, this challenge evolves and there's a cannon that can complicate things. And this switch with a two that's pressed down, we'll see what that's about soon enough. But right now we need to go up with these two elevators. And the sign that claims about the, these switches. Those switches are the strangest switches. When pressing mm, switch 1 lets you press 2. Pressing the switch will cause the elevator to move in the opposite direction. Now go back to the blue switch and below and see what happens. Blue switches simply have various effects, but. Mm, variable effects, aside from mm, changing up the. Mm, changing up the. Mm, corresponding blue switches. Like so. Mm, the two mm, switch is no longer pressed down, but we're let a bounce of treasure chest in, get an extra life. Not that we need it, this is a normal damage run. When we press the two switch, yeah, that glowing pe pellet it leads to a pack chain. Let's wrap it in. Yep. Automatic movement, and we got moved right onto the checkpoint. Yeah, pack chains will be convenient at times. <laughs> oh, and yeah, pack has some. Mm, mm, let's see, this animation where he's mm, acting like he's on a tightrope when he's on a moving platform. But anyway, this is a group tour. There are switches, bonus letters, and other things to find on the other side. Sometimes there are even keys to rescue your friends with. Open all the fruit doors to rescue your friends. And this door is marked with an apple, but we don't have an apple, but we'll fix that soon enough. And right there, there's a yellow switch inside the fruit door. Pressing the yellow switch will cause Dr. Power Pellets to appear. And we got the apple, and... Yeah, we can use it to open the door, and... Press down the switch. Pellets! Clyde and Pinky are patrolling. Clyde and Pinky are patrolling these. That's but. Over here. Got him! The Ghost Boss Hawk Man statue is up ahead. See if you can smash it. I destroyed the Talkman statue by accident, but anyway, any attack will work on the Talkman statue. And with that, we can grab this, and the stage is clear. Of course, that was a tutorial stage. Rest assured that other stages won't be so easy. And oh, and slot coins. They're used for the slot machine. Baseball does. Then and oh, I got three in a row. I'm not even intending for anything, but yeah, I'm not a fan of the slot machine mini game. It, it was already annoying back in Super Mario Brothers until you would say. Anyway, that was 950 points. You get you get 10 points per dot you reserve, which is one more reason that. To not use a pack dot attack. Granted, it's not much of a reason, but even so. Fruitfulness. 
No miss bonus. Yeah, you got 2,000 points if you can avoid dying at all. And a one up for every 10,000 points you've accumulated in the level. Okay, there we go. And that deals with that. And we're heading off to Ghost Island. Corsair's Cove episode unlocked. But, yeah, that'll be for next time, but right now, yeah. One dash one Buccaneer Beach. So yeah, let's see what we can work with. We got a maze mode, we can complain. We can have story where we can view movie in the credits. And what's this? I guess we find out eventually. Oh, and when you complete a level, it, it's marked with the, the crown is highlighted. It's gold if you collected all of the items, but it will be silver if you missed anything. But... <sighs> anyway, so we got a foothold. I mean, granted, that was a tutorial level, but yeah. <sighs> so next time, we're going to go into 1 2 from Corsair's Cove. And... So until then, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day. MKDH, out.